morning, everyone. <clears throat> Pastor Dan here from Athens Christian Reformed Church with uh, devotions for today. And so if you are able, I would encourage you to just take a moment and take a deep breath and uh, just relax and listen to God's Word this morning. Our invitation comes as it do did yesterday from 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57. Thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Bible song this morning comes from Psalm 75, verses 1 to 7. We praise you, God. We praise you, for your name is near. People tell of your wonderful deeds. You say, I choose the appointed time. It is I who judge with equity. When the earth and all its people quake, it is I who hold its pillars firm. The arrogant say, To the arrogant I say, Boast no more. And to the wicked, do not lift up your horns, do not lift your horns against heaven, do not speak with outstretched neck. No one from the east or the west or from the desert can exalt themselves. It is God who judges. He brings one down, he exalts another. And our Bible reading for this morning comes from 1 Peter 1, verses 3 to 9. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who, through faith, are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now, for a little while, you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may be proved genuine and may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy, for you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Wow, what an encouraging message for today. It is God. It is God who chooses. When the earth and all its people shake, quake, it is I who hold its pillars firm. What an incredible message for today. And what an encouragement for us as we go through some, some trials. I mean, to be honest, there are many people in our world who are suffering greater difficulties than us um, at these days. But nonetheless, God will use these trials to strengthen our faith, which is of greater worth than gold. Let's pray. Gracious God, I confess that the good gift of my free will bends away from you, its maker. I pray for your resurrection power to turn it back to you, <clears throat> God. Spiritually revive, heal, and reform me, so that instead of resistance to your lead and rebellion against your word, there is genuine faith and ready obedience. 
help me to know my true freedom is fully restored only in obedience and service to you. Amen. Receive God's blessing today. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be blessed and come back tomorrow.